Sham Sharani of The Athletic and Stadium right here on The Rich Eisen Show, your latest in The Athletic. Um, the headline, Ben Simmons and Sixers at odds again. What's been going on at practices and what's next for both sides? I'll bite, certainly since he will be sitting out tonight's season opener for the Sixers in New Orleans. And barring anything else, his first game where he'll be back is in Philadelphia at home against the Nets coming up this weekend on Friday night. So let's start with what's been going on at practices, Shams. What is? Yeah, Rich, not much. I mean, you know, it's a lot of coming in, into the facility and leaving uh, promptly whenever he's, he's allowed to. I mean, he's the first one out of each practice. There's not much interaction with – there hasn't been that much interaction with teammates Sunday, Monday, and obviously it was a short stint for him yesterday uh, when he didn't uh, want to get into a defensive drill. But it's been a lot of, you know, really coming and going, uh, Rich. I, I, he hasn't been showering at the facility, I'm told. Um, he's been coming in, changing his clothes, and leaving. And you, you're seeing a guy that is really going through the motions. He doesn't seem like he's mentally engaged with his, with the team, with his teammates. He's done a few drills uh, defensively, uh, nothing more, nothing less. And so, you know, speaking to people around that organization, people that have been at those practices, this, you know, the last three days, they say that he's a guy that does not look like he's planning on playing in the near future. And so – Clearly, that is not tonight in the season opener. I don't know if that'll be Friday. Um, you know, from what I've been told, they're going to welcome him back at practice, tentatively scheduled for Thursday. So we'll see if he goes to practice. And if he does, how he behaves and how he handles himself. Um, you know, in his mind, he's not mentally there yet to join a team where he felt like Doc River, Joel Embiid, threw him under the bus after game seven and just does not believe that you know, they've mended their fences. And so now it's just about figuring out, can they reach a middle ground to where he can get back on the floor? Because the, the quicker he gets back on the floor, you know, from, from people in Philadelphia that tell me, the quicker he might be able to get moved because he's able to play and, and pour his heart, heart out there. And until he does that, I just don't see any type of trade aspect uh, going on right now. You know, as I reported last night, there just is not a, a deal that Philly's looking at right now. They're not trying to move Ben Simmons. So this is going to be a stalemate for the foreseeable future. Yeah, that's a that's that's the point, Shams, is that somebody's got to tell him that if he wants out, he not only has to, you know, act like he's in for the ability for the Sixers to feel compelled to get him for more than cents on the dollar, right? and also to make sure that there's nobody else around the league saying, why wouldn't this happen to us if we acquire him? Like there, but for the grace of God, basketball gods go us, right? I mean, like, is there anybody in his camp explaining that time to him? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that this is just a scenario where the player is so dead set on not wanting to be with this franchise and he's made it clear to them over and over he's not mentally there to play for them um but the, the fact remains is that there's not a deal that's on the table that they would do there's really nothing in the in the imminent future and he's got four years and almost 150 million left on his deal it's wow. unprecedented for a player with that much length on his contract to try to get out i mean you've seen players with one or two years left but for four years left it's just um, I know, you know, clearly Philadelphia has support of, of the league and everyone, all the other rival teams, because they don't want to be made an example of. They want to be the ones that are making the example out of the player. And so you're seeing kind of do two different sides, two different agendas here at play. Obviously, Ben Simmons wants a move and, and Philadelphia wants him back on the floor because as of right now, he's their best option to go win games. Um, I, but I think teams around the league understand that Ben Simmons has always been professional. One thing about him is, you know, unless he's hurt, he's going to be on the floor. He's going to be playing. He's going to be trying to play at a high level. Um, and so he just, right now, this is not a situation that he wants to play at a high level for. So then can they keep on um, suspending him? Because as you point out in your article, he's lost upwards of a million dollars in fine money for missing preseason games, practices, and team activities so far. You're our colleague at uh, the Worldwide Leader Woj saying is he, he hasn't made a dime since he's returned. <laughs> that they're so can the Sixers keep doing that? Are they allowed under the CBA uh, to keep doing what they did just for Game One? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I definitely. You know, as long as he, they feel like he continues to have conduct detrimental to the team, they can continue to, whether it's fine him or suspend him. And I think that next test case will come on Thursday when he returns to practice. You know, if they end up going through with the practice on Thursday after the game tonight, 
that how does he show, what's his disposition, and they're hoping that he turns the page that, and that he shows, you know, some, some energy, some signs of wanting to be there so that they can move forward. All right, last one for you, Shams. I, 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 if you don't mind, uh, I gave this assignment also to Sam Amick, your colleague at The Athletic, so I'll create some in-house competition. Can you find out where Simmons got those sweatpants? Can you who's, Whose sweatpants are those that he wore the other day in practice with the cell phone sticking out? Can you find that out for me, Shams? Would you please? Yeah, I have, no, I have no idea, but I hate to, to, to break it. That wasn't a cell phone in his, in his pants. That was actually um, that was actually another jersey that he had. Probably the jersey oh. that they wanted these players to wear during practice, and uh, he left it in his in his in his pants and not what? putting it on. Okay, yeah, it so that that was not a cell phone in his pocket. That was not a cell phone. That was a jersey. Oh. Okay, see, you know, I guess this is a lesson for us to learn, that we, we take a photograph and we make much of it. And so that was not a cell phone. It was another jersey in his, my gosh, I mean, that's a lot. That, that's, those sweatpants can hold a, a lot. So that, then I definitely want the, I want those sweatpants for me. If they can hold a jersey, I want, you know, that's impressive. Okay, there you go. Man, oh, man. Jersey and sweatpants reporting. That's that's exactly what I'm here for. But I'll tell you what, though, wow. Shams, that's that's that's, Im- news. that's actually yeah. important because the number of people have thought that was a cell phone, and he's just like saying, "I'm I'm not even. I'll show you how I I don't care about practicing. I'll I'll, I'll text during during a drill. You know what I mean? So he's been on his phone a lot at the facility, but not in that instance. Not. In that specific drill. All right, Shams. Thanks very much. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 